basically. <laughs> yeah. Alright folks, Felix Joseph here, Insane Man Beside Me and King of Brady right mm -hmm. here. So, so we just heard that the nominees for the, for the best game categories have been released, so we decided to talk about them. So, as we review them, we'll see, do we agree with them or not agree with them? Yeah. Alright, let's give it a watch. Yeah, give it a watch. So this first one is best multiplayer. Yeah, now we're gonna, not gonna watch them all. Jeez, so many so categories. Many. I think so many. I was like, now I don't. I'm not. I'm gonna. Pick, we're gonna pick and choose what we want to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's gonna be best multiplayer. And here we go. Nah. No. Maybe. I don't know. That was okay. Ouch. I haven't played that. Have you? No. Nope. Definitely haven't played that, and I don't think I will. So that's no, that's that's a three. No, what what one of them do you think will win? I can obviously say Call of Duty is going to win because if that feels like the the big big game, you know what I mean? I think yeah, the rest are, are for kids, and I don't know if the kids can vote for. Or be able to vote. I don't know. Oh, they, they I know vote, they said you can go on vote, and um, what was mm -hmm. it on? Um, Gameawards.com, yeah, and you can cast your vote there. I know, yeah, but, but uh, I reckon it, COD will be yeah, I reckon taking COD. that. Uh, Multiverses, I played that in Gamerfest. Um, I thought it was okay, I didn't really. I was like, it's like Super Smash Brothers, but it's yeah. not. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, I liked it, I, was, I picked Rick as my guy, and I yeah. like that. I love Rick and Morty, you know. Oh, yeah. I heard it's bare, bare bones as well. I think it's it's one of those the game will come out and then over time they'll add and add and add. I think, but yeah, no, yeah, it's so just no, no, it wasn't no, for you. No, it wasn't for me. Um, the other ones not really, not really. No, just shows you the games ain't, ain't good this year coming no, out. No, this this year wasn't. I, I knew Modern Warfare Two. That's it. I think that's what was the big hype because yeah, everybody wanted that back. And yeah, that was the big one. Yeah, it. but uh, we'll move on to the next category. Probably best to move on the next category and see what the crack is. Right, so what's the next one we're gonna go with? Uh, best ongoing game. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go for that one there. Apex Legends. Destiny 2. Final Fantasy 14. Fortnite. And Engine Impact. The nominees. Now, already off the bat, I think Fortnite. Fortnite's going to win it. Yeah. Um, I think Apex Legends was such a great game. Did you play it? I played Fortnite. I haven't touched Apex. Uh, when it came out, I was, I was obsessed. That's all I could play. That's all I could think about. And uh, like Fortnite, kind of the same, but I don't know. I just really liked the, uh, I really liked Apex. Mm. I, I think at one point I, I was probably equally good at both of them. Yeah. But uh, I think it was Fortnite, then Apex, mm. then I kind of crept back into Fortnite again. Mm. I haven't crept back to Apex. Uh, I know they introduced, obviously they introduced. I don't know how many more characters Absolutely, now, yeah. but uh, I just wouldn't. I don't know. No, I might go back to it, but fuck it, I don't know. I know, yeah. Like, I, I think it'd be tight. I think Apex deserves it because mm. like, it's weird because at the Gamer Fest they had like you know all different games you could play. Apex Legend was one of them. Fortnite wasn't. Mm. I reckon if it, if it was there, you could fucking play that for days. But it was actually you could play Fortnite at uh, Comic Con. Yes, you know that now. No, I was fucking playing it. Mm. Yeah, I was like, oh, you, you just record me oh, while I play yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and they yeah. just didn't. And I mm. got oh, I got nine kills and came third. I I reckon if I had used there as extra pressure, I wouldn't have pushed. I know, yeah. But uh, it doesn't matter. I know what you mean. Well, There's no evidence, so no, maybe no, I'm no, lying. No evidence. Maybe I'm not lying with, with some some group, or I don't know what group group they called. Though, not I maybe. know, yeah, me neither. No more. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we'll move on to the next category. Um, uh, I suppose so, yeah. What Are we going with Art Direction? I suppose it's graphics. Graphics, yeah. Uh, we'll go with Art Direction. You know, yeah. we deserve it. Mm. Here we go. So I've seen footage of uh, most of them. I like got all, all of them. Mm. Do you think Elden Ring will get it? Nah. No. Do you think Ragnarok is going to be the, the Ragnarok? Maybe uh, Forbidden West. Stray. No. Scorn. Maybe because it's weird. It's, yeah. It's basically like it's like uh, based on kind of like really Scott's Alien, like the in, out here. Yeah. Air, yeah, like, yeah. Well, well, at first there. Um, if you know uh, really Scott's uh, little uh, what you call it, um, model of why he made a Alien. It's, it's oh a, yeah, yeah. You were t I think you told me this. Let me let me repeat it to you. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
but uh, he he was ha- his his wife was having a baby and it was like the fear of having a child and then the alien bursting through the belly as a symbol of the child being born kind of thing yeah, was it being born like maybe the child is what if the child's born and it could cause to a monster and stuff so mm. that symbolism that's what scorn is as well and it's symbolizing like some people know it does symbolize and it's a bit, bit of a extreme a mother losing a child or a child being a, a Realm, uh, realm of, that's what people are getting from Scorn. It's a symbol of the elevation of a mother losing it. It's, it's born. Okay, okay. That's a bit, uh, we might have a bit to, sad, but uh, yeah, well, let's, sad, let's yeah. drop it there. Drop it there, yeah. Drop it like it's hot. What one are we moving on to next? And we're hit with an ad. Well, I was going to just cut it anyway, so. I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's done it again. It's done it again. By, by the God, that damn, damn. I was uh, smack my head backwards. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hit that. Like, we're back with my mind's oh, Look. It stops there as if, like, ah, uh-huh, we got you to watch fucking five ads in a row. Fucking Tesco. God damn it, Tesco. So we go with the... Best action game, yeah. Best action game. Let's see where we go. R, A&N 3. Modern Warfare 2. Neon White. Seafood. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shredder's Revenge. Do you know any of them games? Uh, I know Seafew and obviously we know Call of Duty Seafew mm-hmm. is supposed to be a bit weird when it's supposed to be uh, you start off at like 24 or something and every time you die your character gets 2 years old or so if you die multiple times you could be 65 in the game and um, what age do you die in the game? no you, you start off young but then when you die you age up 2 years yeah but at what age do you have to reach to like your guys like fucking I think it's 65 jeez that's a bit fucking depressing isn't it? <laughs> no, yeah but then you get, you get get better and better as a master, though. So. You're nearly halfway there, Keith. I know, yeah. Okay, so we go with most anticipated game. Most anticipated game. Let's see what we got. Final Fantasy 16. Legacy. Oh, that's a good one. That's one, yeah. Resident Evil 4. That's, uh, that's a good one. Starfield, yeah. And the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the I feel like this is, this is a good character. Now, what there do you really want to fucking play? Like, what if you had the choice to pick up all of them? What one would be your topic? Probably Starfield. Starfield? Yeah. Now, what the fuck is Starfield? So, if you played Fallout or Skyrim, oh, yeah, those, yeah. Go, those guys, so, uh, basically, it's, it's probably more or less Fallout, but in space, I reckon the best way to describe it, if you look, play, if you ever played Fallout, yeah, yeah, played and basically, it, yeah. uh, you travel around the whole world, so, like, the uh, space is built, you can build your own little space base, and then you can fly around to other planets, and stuff, so it's, if you even played Outer Worlds a few years ago, it's, Probably like, like that as well. Okay. So well, I, I reckon Hogwarts is going to take it. Do you right, think? Right. Yeah, Hogwarts would be second choice. Like Zelda should be up there. Should be up there, but um, I still know there. Nintendo. If, I know, yeah. If it had like a P- get there again to the PS5 or an Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Hogwarts is going to be everything, is it? Probably Hog- Hogwarts. I would say, well, I wouldn't say Resident Evil now is because Resident Evil, we already had the original game, so a remake. Nah, forget about that. Nah. Yeah, really? Yeah. No, okay, well. Hogwarts, I think, is going to be the top take. You yeah. think? Hogwarts, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Next one, yeah. Your squad for choice is just eat. Delivering all of your favorites from Starbucks, Neil Dye, and Sentra straight to your door. First, getting hungry now. <laughs> I'm fucking starving, yeah. The Ollie World. Global Offensive. Esports app. The content creator of the year. Where? Wow. Okay, so you ready for the game of yeah. the year the nominees? Best, the best game post the uh, this year. Now let's see. Let's see. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. The nominees for game of the year at the Game Awards are A Plague Tale Requiem from Asobo Studio and Focus Entertainment, Elden Ring by From Software and Bandai Namco Entertainment, God of War Ragnarok from Sony Santa Monica and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Horizon Forbidden West from Guerrilla Games and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Stray from Blue 12 Studio and Annapurna Interactive. And Xenoblade Chronicles 3 from Monolith Soft and Nintendo. Well, judging by that category, I reckon there wasn't much games out this year, so I'm probably going to say maybe first choice God of War. Uh, Second choice will probably be... um, Horizon Fear Dawn, Dawn because they're both PS5 games. Okay. Well, I would have thought uh, God of War. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, Elden Ring maybe. Did you see a little big smug look on your nah. face? 
Not Elden Rings, no. No, no it was a shit. I never played it, but... Like, I didn't play it, nah. but I, I seen it, it looked good. I seen someone did, like, a mod where it's uh, Lord of the Rings and it's Frodo and Sam, and they're going up uh, Mordor. What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> so smiley, boy. What the hell? Uh, 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 that game's not doesn't deserve, deserve no, the nomination. <clears throat> God of War. See, the thing is, obviously, I have Xbox, so I don't play it. <laughs> oh. oh, God. This one fell apart, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but, uh, no, yeah. But Stray, now, nah, forget that. Stray and the, what, the Xenoblades, no, nah. I'd say Ragnarok is the only idea. That's it. Ragnarok, yeah. Yeah. I reckon so, yeah. Well, that's fucking it. It's, like, it's a disappointing fucking lineup. I'm not lineup, yeah. But I reckon uh, when we do cover the Game Awards, there'll be some games announced, so maybe when we get to Oh, game, game announced for next year? Yeah, like they they're normally bring, they're not bring games out, so maybe hopefully a Fable, a Fable uh, trailer, maybe a State of Decay 3 trailer. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some other trailers, maybe, so I don't know. We don't know. We'll, we'll find we'll, out. We'll find out and we'll cover it. That's it. Phoenix was Phoenix was a